Um, Peter Baker, writing at the New York Times, kind of summarized um, what the J6 panel has accomplished. And did you watch it yesterday? Jesus, God, what stunning, stunning footage. Nancy Pelosi's uh, daughter is a uh, filmmaker. She has uh, a couple of uh, documentaries, uh, well-known, that she has produced. Um, And she was with her mother on January 6, 2021. She was at the Capitol and took it upon herself to video record so much of what what happened after the bum, the grifter, the scum, Trump, ordered his troops to attack the U.S. Capitol. Let me be clear before I get too far into this. You know, I I understand we live in the type of country we live in where we have laws and uh, we have um, courses that have to be followed when we go after a criminal. But to me, Donald Trump should be in irons someplace. He should have been arrested a long time ago. This son of a bitch is continuing to destroy the country. There's no way to stop him. You know what's going to stop Trump? His death. That's the only thing that's going to stop him. When he keels over dead from a massive stroke or a heart attack or whatever gets him eventually, and something will, that's what will stop him. And until that time, sane people in this country have got to figure out how to negotiate and navigate with this son of a bitch floating in the ocean with us. I, I don't know how to do that. I really don't. I lose my patience. I resort to uh, primal um, urges. <laughs> yeah, you know that. Come on. We have a thin veneer of civilization over all of us. Given the right situation, we become as much of a beast as any creature in the forest. You know that as well as I do. Some people say, well, that's not true anymore, Malloy. You know, we have... Uh, We have civilized ourselves. We no longer resort to terror. Yeah, take a look around the planet. Look at what's going on. Look what's happening in Iran, for God's sake. That had to happen, and it's going to continue to happen in Iran because it's a religious dictatorship run by a bunch of creepy fucking old men who are religious fascists and should be strung up themselves. Listen to me. Good God, what am I saying? Look at the bastard in North Korea. Look at the bastard in Moscow. I mean, well, where was I? (laughs) If the goal of the J6 committee from day one earlier this year was to put the orange vomit on trial, to put a spotlight on this miserable son of a bitch and what he's done to this country, then I agree with Peter Baker, the J6 committee succeeded in, in, in putting a spotlight on this criminal son of a bitch and his operatives in the Congress, in the Secret Service, in the military, in the FBI. These scum have wormed their way. These Christian terrorists are in just about every organization in this country right now. This is a part that is kind of scary to me. But... In, in, in presenting this powerful case that they presented over the past eight months, incredibly strong case the J6 committee presented, and they used as witnesses, was there any Democrat that, that, that provided witness uh, testimony in, the, in this long video trial? Was there a, a single Democrat? They were all Republicans. So when the maggots, the followers of Trump, Listen to this crazy son of a bitch about about how the Democrats are doing this to him. Please look, maggots. I understand that your fucking brains have been rotted away with Trump and, and your Christian religion. But can you not bring your head up for one minute and breathe some fresh air and take a look at what this committee has presented? No, of course you can't. Of course you can't. The filth at the Fox sewer and these other neo-Nazi broadcast outlets have placed plastic bags over your heads and all you're breathing right now is CO2 and eventually you're going to die. You're going to kill yourselves. You're going to drop dead from the exhaustion of, of, of trying to find 
something redeemable in this monster. Oh, well. A powerful case of damning testimony from the defendant's own advisors, allies, and even relatives. That's how Peter Baker puts it. That's what this J6 committee presented. But as everything came to a close, ostensibly, yesterday, it, it's not clear, and I would go so far as to say it's not going to happen, that the jury who needed to hear this, the right-wingers, the MAGA scum, the Republicans, the, the people that still consider themselves to be Republicans, the so-called conservatives, it, 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 it didn't work for them. They don't give a shit. They don't care what evidence is presented. Trump said it best when he, when he was what well, he was still running for uh, to corrupt the office of the presidency. When he said, "You know, my people love me so much, I could fire a gun down Fifth Avenue in New York, kill somebody, and they would still support me." Well, I think that's because Trump, like every filthy, rotten, grifting tyrant, understood how easily manipulable people can be. So, those of us who already know that Trump is totally responsible, watch this, this four, five, six-month presentation, chapter and verse, with all the sensational testimony and mind-boggling shit that just, that was just endless. It just kept going. And, and during the time that Trump was corrupting everything, he was also overseeing the deaths of hundreds of thousands of Americans from COVID. The son of a bitch is a mass killer. In addition to being the kind of, of, of dictator in waiting that he's always wanted to be. But the poor bastards who started out believing Donald Trump is... Uh, somehow related to Jesus H. Christ or God or whatever the fuck these Christian terrorists believe. They were not swayed a bit. It's all a plot. Those weren't Republicans who provided all this testimony. Those were, you know, actors. There couldn't have been, couldn't have been Republicans, couldn't have been members of Congress and governors and law enforcement and military types who provided the te damning testimony of this bum, this filthy Donald Trump. No, 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 no. Those were actors, right? You Christian terrorists. Peter Baker points out that there has been very little movement in public opinion since the hearings began last June at least according to a bunch of polls. So the maggots are immune to anything that's contrary to the garbage and the bullshit that they believe. I just find that incredibly infuriating and very sad, and it is what is going to rip the country to pieces. The last thing that the panel did yesterday was make it very clear they voted, we all heard it, to subpoena this filthy pig. Now, there's two, two uh, different thoughts seeming in opposition about what Trump is going to do, how he's going to respond to the subpoena. The quickest um, reaction would be my reaction. Uh, I join millions of people who would feel the same way. And that is Trump will just say, fuck you. There's no way in hell I'm going to appear before your toy committee. And, and he won't. The other opinion, though, is that Trump is such a, just a, 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 a narcissist of such degree that he's not going to be able to resist going and appearing before this panel thinking that I'll destroy the motherfuckers. I know what to do in front of those people. So those are the two ideas about how Trump is going to react to this. I still say this miserable little fucker will not do it. He will not do it. He will show one more time to the people in this country that there is no law in Trump land except what comes out of his mouth. That's it. And this is why the Christian terrorists love him. Christians can't fucking think for themselves. No religious uh, uh, cultists can. 
until the day comes when they explode. Again, look at Iran. But the Christian terrorists in this country are incapable of independent thought, of being able to look at a situation and evaluating the evidence in front of them and saying, you know what, this is really fucked. Referring to Trump. This is really fucked. No matter what evidence is presented. Trump's cult members are brushing off any investigation, any charge. Look at what they did with the Mueller report. Look at all of it. Claiming, well, it's just, you know, uh, George Soros and, and Nancy Pelosi and the Jews coming after him and the liberals, you know, and the Negroes and the Black Lives Matter scum. They're the ones doing it. Our leader is a wonderful leader. So as Peter Baker puts it, as a result, a former president who tried to overturn a free and fair election to hang on to power in defiance of the voters, the Constitution, and nearly two and a half centuries of democratic tradition, he remains the dominant figure in his political party and the odds-on favorite to win its domination to run again. Just incredible, just stunning. So, and Baker points out that the the J6 committee, uh, they documented this shit extensively. But it's for history's sake. If the Christian terrorists don't take over with Trump, and if Trump goes another four years, he would probably ask for another four and, and keep going and then hand it off to his fucked up children. This is how dictatorships work in certain situations. But if that were to happen, there's a good chance that the history books would be expunged. Don't forget what Winston Smith's job was in the Ministry of Truth. Remember? Do you remember? It was to remove those parts of history that no longer were in uh, accordance with Big Brother's latest rants. And if ever a Big Brother existed in this country for the Trump followers, it's Trump. When I look at uh, some of the video footage of the mob of, of screaming fucking insane people in their little red hats and their, their little Trump flags and banners, when, when I look at the video footage of these people at the so-called Trump rallies, oh yeah, it's easy to make the comparison to Nuremberg, to, to, the, to the Nazi rallies. But I see something else when I look at them, almost ecstasy, especially on the faces of the women who show up at these, uh, uh, and, and the, the women show ecstasy, the men show devotion, but both genders stare at him, stare at the back of his head, stare at him and with their mouths open and, and just looks of, 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 I don't know, like they're looking at, at a divine creature. And no matter how stupid Trump sounds to somebody with more than a 12th, a 12th grade, a grade education, like you and me, No matter how stupid he sounds, no matter how ignorant, no matter how fucked up, these people's mouths stay open and their eyes stay wide. And they react to the uh, the applause lines that Trump has carefully salted through his little terror speeches. And they jump up and they wiggle their asses and they wave their arms. And it, it just. It's scary to me. Scary. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.